lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. We've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Already we're underway here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Diego Godin, a strong, powerful centre-back who makes great use of his physical gifts. He's very strong in the air, but he also excels at, at reading the game and stepping in to make those crucial interceptions. More than anything, though, I think he's going to give this team a mental boost because everyone else knows that he's prepared to put his body on the line over and over. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well played, he saw that coming. Unas. to get it forward quickly tried to play it through look he's offering an apology to his teammate who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run Bentancur Quadrado Dybala gets it back Deflected behind for a corner. Great leap! That's a half decent try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Chiesa can't get the better of his opposite number. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's through. Cristiano Ronaldo. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? Best left there. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays it out to the flank. In comes the... Gets up to head it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Arthur goes up and over. That'll be a throw. Rock gets it forward. Arthur. Defending of the desperate variety. Knocks it away. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Goes for goal! Has he found his man? Oh, good interception. That has put a stop to that. Sure that that won't get through, and he's straight offside. Gets it upfield. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Cagliari seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. That's clear cut. Uh, free kick. 
Rob. And he's there to cut it out. Rock. The referee's awarded a free kick. Therefore, oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top notch. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. In towards the middle. Up to meet it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Cuts it out. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Chiesa with a long pass. Just unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. Cagliari, get it back again. Gotin, Gotin drives it forward. Alexandro hoists it forward. He goes along. That's the end of the first half. So there you have it. One sport half of football has still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. So it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help sweep things back in their favour. Underway again. Juventus need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. And that has been clear. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Outside, lacking in intent. Dybalik gets flagged offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Marata hits that long. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Whistle's gone. That's uh, foul. Morata. Chiesa provides an outlet. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And the counter is on. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Una. And the question, that's a foul.
Ronaldo with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. the delivery Arthur is there to heave it away Chiesa he's got away has a hit this could fall anywhere it's good distance on it beautifully done Alexandro hurls himself at it that's offside yes it is well, they're being cut out too much for my liking. It's not rocket science. Juventus are making a change now. Keeper sends it forward. Rabio gets it back. Chip through. He gets past his man. Cristiano shoots. That's what has to be done now. No question. Fantastic! No mistake. Juventus are level. His position was perfect. The invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Yeah, all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. That has certainly made things interesting. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is... He's gone for it! Oh, Juventus! And the comeback is complete! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Juventus themselves into the lead. Well, they're third. That's a hit! Should have equalised. Oh, that's a great response, though, and it's a statement declaring that they're not done with this yet. Calgary are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Barata plays it out to the wing. And he's going long. Good take, and he's had a look. Almost too easy. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Well, that has changed the... Tries a shot! Appearance is very necessary. Oh, he's really drilled it. It's going to be another throw. Dybala. And Dybala! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Patra. And the shot! Just off target. out of play <laughs> going through and the finish oh! just off target 
four. How close does that to go again? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Una. Unas has got himself a free kick. And here's choice one! Beradeski tries to strip it through. Barata spreads it towards the left. Tries to get it clear. And there goes the final whistle. Juventus have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Thoughts on what we've just...